chickens? These are chickens. These are morans. Cute little baby birds. Some small, some a bit bigger, like baby owls. Can I pet it? Yeah. Ah, uh, this is about three years old. Wow. There's lots of opportunities to get nose to beak with the birds here. Okay, so guys, do you want to fancy flying a Harry Sork now? Yeah! Yeah? Excellent. Let's go and have a go, shall we? And now on to the main event. Although not typically found in the wild here in Britain, the Harris Hawk has become a popular choice for falconry because it's so easy to train and they're used to working in a group. People wanted to feed themselves, so they had to catch birds and then they had to go out hunting with them so they could eat in the wild. First noted in Europe in the 5th century, falconry became a popular sport for noblemen and royalty during the Middle Ages and now is associated with all things castle. And our host gives us an example of their supreme hunting powers as he tosses up some food. So, here we go. Awesome! Can I try? So why do you not think he's coming to you now? Food. I don't have food. You don't have food, exactly. But this guy's not going to come for just any old food. What is that? Chicken leg. Harris hawks are meat eaters and are known to eat mice, lizards, even other birds and rabbits. Arm up like a branch. And come down. Oh. <laughs> How cool is that? Can I hold him by myself? If you can, don't drop your arm, because you'll run up your arm and sit on your head. And we don't want that. Think you can hold him up on your own? Yeah. Give it a go. Oh, wow, that oh. is heavy. <laughs> there you are. Look at that. Perfect. Is it heavy? There we go. That was awesome. <laughs> Can we throw it at him? Yeah, here he comes. So, to hide it from you, he's going to drop his tail and his wings over it. So it's out of sight, out of mind for that. that. Uh, it's because he does it in the wild to hide it from his sisters mainly because they're much bigger than him. And after his afternoon exercise, it's time for a nap. This is where he lets me down because he knows he's going back to bed now. He doesn't like coming back. Yeah. Hmm, sounds like some kids I know. Yeah! Hmm, so much for rest time back at the hotel. Okay, let's go explore Cardiff. Ow. This city is great, with modern and traditional pedestrian walking areas, cheap food options, great architecture, and plenty of hang around options for the kids. We get some cheap takeaway and let the kids be kids. We always recommend regular playtime like they would back home letting them explore their surroundings. 